Um, yeah. Speaking of which, Atlanta had a. Uh, you want to? Were we ready to move on from the AZ topic? I know AZ's dropping Friday, so we're gonna be talking more about him anyway. Yeah, yeah. I'm just looking forward to the project on Friday. Uh, he really is a different dude. He's one of those dudes that like his uh, his mystique and his uh, energy and his reluctance to do interviews and his low key quiet money mantra. Like, nah, he really live in that way. And so it's like, it's very few dudes out here that actually like is living what they say on record. And he's one of them. So shout out to AZ. Look forward to hearing the album. Um, yeah. Atlanta had a hip hop 50, I guess, performance event, whatever you want to call it at, uh, at the Saints Falcons game this past Sunday. Ludacris literally came from the top ropes and the top of the arena. Uh, I think he was performing Move. I think T.I. performed. Um, Jeezy was on the bill. Jermaine Dupri. It was a whole function. And um, it made me think about our conversations that we have here with the fans and the reactions that uh, an Atlanta crowd gets from certain individuals. I know people that were there that mm -hmm. got footage and all that stuff. Um, even though social media went crazy with, you know, the way Luda came from the roof, when T.I. came out, the reaction was crazy. Same thing with Jeezy and us talking about Busta Rhymes and some of the ways that we were, you know, speaking. It made me think about, you know, I guess Luda's place in the city. Um, and it made me think about 2 Chains. We were just talking about the Kylie Grove album, which... Did like 34,000 the first week. Congratulations to them. I said last week I never thought I would say that I enjoy 2 Chainz music more than I enjoy Luda's. But I'm going to take it a step further. I think 2 Chainz is a better MC than Ludacris, man. And this is from somebody who's been a Ludacris fan since I heard him doing drops for DJ Nabs. Uh, you know, Fat Rabbit on the Tim's Bio album. I think lyrically, wordplay, content, I think he's better MC than Luda. I think the where I would give Luda is the freestyle and maybe the flow. But even though I do I, think 2 Chainz flow is pretty special too. First of all, I'd like to shout out the Atlanta Falcons for actually winning a game that matters. It's something that rarely happens down here. It happens even less in my hometown of Carolina. They actually won a game that mattered. During an important event, shout out to the Falcons for actually winning a goddamn game that matters. Shout out to like the Falcons. Um, <laughs> I've always liked Chains more than Luda, Mike, because I'm always somebody that uh, kind of uh, values the street ethos more than the hit making ability. Because I feel like hit making ability is a short run, and the streets are gonna live forever. And nobody in the chat agrees with us, by the way, not to cut you off. This <laughs> we tripping. Nobody agrees with us. I mean, yeah, but it's like when we when you really, really think about it, though, it's like linguistically speaking, it's somebody that like, you know, has a passion for words and enjoys words. The main reason I prefer chains over Luda is about the wordplay. Mike is wordplay has always been top notch. Um, he's fun the same way Luda is fun to me. But he's got a street sensibility to him that's different. Like when he talks about being the weed selling guy for the rappers or when he talks about like how he went to play ball and it didn't work out. I mean, do you remember the record uh, with Scarface on his first album? Yeah. Okay. So, so like Chains can do a record with Scarface and do a birthday song with Kanye on the same album and it cohesively makes sense. So mm -hmm. I think he just offers more than what Luda offers. And it's like, I'm just not a guy that's stuck on hits, Mike. It's like, no, like, I don't play area codes. I don't play what's your fantasy. I don't, I, I, play, I be playing move, bitch, sometimes. But that's just when I'm working out and I really want bitches to move. Well, like, I mean, all right. Everybody in the chat is telling us that we're tripping, we're trolling. Can y'all tell us exactly why y'all think Luda is that much better than, than Chains? Like, I don't, do you Mike, think... Mike, set them spaces up, Mike. It's time to light niggas. Yeah, man. Fire. We 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 need to really talk about this, and we need to go with the bars. You guys like the bars, like uh, I got niggas scared as fuck, like when condoms break or how your chest feels from eating forty pounds of steak. That's that's dope to y'all. Like, like how, what are the bars? Like, even even on move, Mike, which I think might be his best single in my opinion. 
like mystical is definitely the scene oh of that. course he is it's not even it's not even conversational is move bitch even the classic that it is without mystical on there let's keep it 100 i want the people in the chat i mean you ain't even got a super chat i want y'all to give me luda's toughest bars because i can I give you luda's some of chain's bars, toughest like, bars like, the major look remix is actually his toughest bar work that i ever heard as far as just like a 16 bar verse Shit out on the streets like evicted tenants. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's cool. I mean, it's cool. I think it's more about the flow and the delivery. But if we're actually breaking down the bars, like what what Two Chain say when he was like, um, um, smoking on that Lee Haney, sipping on that Harpo. Like, no, that's something different, man. Like. <laughs> to think about uh how how chains verse go on the what they want on schoolboy's first album on oh, oxymoron yeah when i was dodging the pole lights when i was pole with no lights when i was pole with potential mm -hmm. yeah or like yeah. or when the nigga was like good times rocking jays smoking jays i'm the rap ernie bonds like ernie he, bonds is the okay. is the artist that made the good times painting JJ, Correct. like, give me the ludicrous bars that are like that. I, I think y'all sleeping on the way this man puts words together. Even, even when, like, let's even go to, like, some of his stuff when he's being entertaining. Like, listen to him on No Lie, Mike. Yeah. When he bring him in, them whole things. Tupac without a nose ring. Thug life. One wife. A mistress and a girlfriend. No, that shit's different, Mike. His verse on Mercy. That I, Mercy came on yesterday, and it made me think. I was like, yeah, he's better than Luda. It is what it is. All right. How about Ali Bumaye? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on, man. No, man. Come on, man. For real. And the longevity. The longevity of his musical career really trumps, I mean, Luda's... Luda's musical career twofold, to be perfectly honest. You know what? We need to do a Twitter spaces where we're going to pick Chain's 20 best records. Yeah. Chain's 20 best verses. I want to go with the bars. Versus the 20 best songs. Because everybody in here always talk about they about the bars. Y'all ain't got no Luda bars for me. I'm giving you Chain's bars. Coop's giving you Chain's <laughs> bars. Yeah. Y'all ain't got no bars. Where the bars at? Y'all talking about the hits. I got you. I mean, those hits were good for the time, but where the bars at? Michael Sanders with the Super Chat says, I don't care what Gip says about Andre to uh, Death End, his flute album. That's a part of the issue. People are not holding him accountable, just justifying his bullshit. <laughs> Mad Max with the Super Chat says, Luda is better, has a better voice, better flow, and better bars. What are the bars? People, y'all have access to all the whole internet. Find me the bars y'all are talking about. I'm about to say, yeah, Michael ripping off the top of our head. Yeah, we didn't study this. Internet. I suggest you use it. Somebody said, uh, I wish a nigga would like a kitchen cabinet. Okay, but well, where are the Luda bars? <laughs> Give me the Luda bars. I I'm just asking. Reggie with the super chat says, Mike and Coop, 2 Chains playlist versus the chat's Luda playlist. Any day. Yeah. yeah. We'll be done with that by tonight. And I will say this. Luda stands a better chance if we're going song for song, but I'm talking about the wordplay. Give me the bars. I'm not, I'm not so sure of that. Like, think about this. It's like, hold on, Mike. You think the birthday song's still getting played? Or you think, what's your fantasy still getting played? They both are still getting played, but I think really? that the birthday song is actually the stronger song between the two. It is, Mike. That's what I'm saying. I want to get you in the classic. Georgia Dome in the 50 gal line by the Dirty Bears kick up a tree. And if you like it in the club, we can do it in the DJ booth or in the back of the VIP. Y'all talking about flow. Y'all talking about how things sound. You know what I'm saying? Michael Sanders with the Super Chat says, Two chains, I bust on a chest. Chestnut. That's why we don't, uh, uh, we don't take him seriously. LOL. But it was cool when it was said on the chronic, though, right? Right. Or it's on these Luda nuts, like right? That. I got bars like that. Yeah. Luda got bars like that. Yeah. I, the nigga said, I got people scared as fuck like when condoms break. Or where your chest feels from eating 40 pounds of steak. Come on, man. It's like, I feel great. Is that the guy you guys are vouching for for the bars? 
Hey, <laughs> come on, guys. Where are the bars? Boy and show me the like show me the guest appearance like Ali Boumaye or what they want with Schoolboy. Like just show it to me. Because people are saying the potion, he, he's giving you bars. Give me the actual bars. Y'all got the internet the at your disposal. Right. It's 337 against two. Give us the bars. <laughs> Where y'all at? Born Where King of the at? Super Chat says, Two Chains is just a, a more Atlanta and got uh, got to be from here to understand. Yeah. Yeah, Born King says, Two Chains is just more Atlanta. You got to be from here to understand. Uh, Leroy Green with the Super Chat says, oh, wait, Mike, wait, two... Mike. We're not at talking about who's more Atlanta, quite frankly. We're talking yeah. about who's better. Again, give me something against good times, rocking Jays, smoking Jays, I'm the rap Ernie Barnes. If I had a canvas, it'd be Manly, Firearms, Mighty Cone. No, give me the looter moment like that. If she bad, I invite her home. Oh, uh, what he said? Uh, uh, he said, rims tall like, ah, uh, what'd he say? Ah, rims tall like Kevin Hart ride along. <laughs> He's just going. Like, give me the Luda bars like that. Everything's pasting together. Leroy Green with the Super Chat says, Mike, 2 Chains is throwing punchlines almost every four bars. So you mean to tell me that you ain't come from watching Luda? That ain't come from watching Luda? It could, but Chains does it better. Or one could say... That when Chains was around, maybe he was throwing loot at those ball, those uh, punchlines. Because when because when Chains went and did his own thing, Luda didn't have the punchlines anymore. Or or maybe Mike, maybe when Luda heard Chains is part of how Chains never really got any run because he looked at Chains and be like, man, this dude could take my spot, take my whole place, and he actually take did. My whole place. He actually and did. And then he did. <laughs> Think about it. Like, when have you ever seen a rapper? down here signed to somebody like Luda and then after their time with them they become one of the biggest stars in Atlanta it Luda never really happens like it never really never, happens never happens Mall 7 with the super chat says what up fellas I often hear people say Luda uh, spits better than T.I. but I don't think so what do y'all think I'm with you I don't think so either and again I ask where are the bars because I could go with T.I. too. A-Town veteran. Started at 11, went and bought an eight ball. I've been staying down ever since. That's why it's hard to find another rap nigga better than the Bankhead resident. West Side represent. Pimp squad mobster. Grand hustle president. Heart of a lion and the nuts of an elephant. Give me the Luda bars, please. Tip is a top five Southern MC. Fuck that Atlanta shit you talking <laughs> right. The top five MC coming out of this region all time. The only people that literally have a tangible argument ahead of him is Scarface and Wayne. Tangible. He would be third right now. NY Bias Media. Oh, man. I love it. Hold on. We got a comment from NY Bias Media. I love the name. Love the name. 2 Chains has too many reach bars. Luda's uh, verse on O clears 2 Chains' catalog. Talking about okay. Southern Styles so Get Wild. Old School is coming down in a different color whip. Y'all talking about style again. Picture perfect. Okay. You might want to take a flick, 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 flick. We're talking about style. Where are the bars? No, no, no. I like the new I like the verse. Medium. Because now we have somebody talking dumber than Mad Max is talking. <laughs> Mad Max is now in second place on the dumbass shit list today. Somebody mentioned Roll Out. Okay. I like Roll Out. I love the song. But again, where are the bars? <laughs> Uh, I be his <laughs> And the bigger the cap, the bigger the pillin', the better I'm feeling the morning. I'm chilling, willing, drilling, and killing the feeling. Now, who's that bucket naked cook fixing three coast meals? Getting goosebumps and a body taps to six inch heels. Now, that was clever. <laughs> that was clever, naming all the uh, strip clubs at the time and putting it in a sentence. It's beautiful. Yeah. Two Chains got that in spades. Spades. <laughs> in spades. Right. 